Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Grasshopper. Oh, young Grasshopper. That's, not, that's not, that's from the Karate Kid what I was doing. Was it? You know what I was doing? Yeah, you're doing the wax on, wax yeah. off. That's not the Grasshopper show. No, he that's never the... says Grasshopper, but it, it is like karate movies. There's always the, you know, the master with the pebble. Try to take the pebble out of my hand, young Grasshopper. <laughs> Have you ever caught a fly in midair? No. Really? Oh, I do that frequently. With chopsticks? No, oh, that would be pretty good. <laughs> was that on the Karate Kid movie? Yeah, that was on the Karate oh, Kid. Yep. Yeah, that would be something good. The, the kid catches it before Miyagi ever can, and he's been trying for years. And then he gets all upset about it. Yeah. And then the second one... That would be one, pretty impressive. The second one starts with him sitting there trying to catch it, and he finally catches it. And then he lets Ooh, it go. Miyagi or the little yeah, kid? Yeah, Miyagi does. He finally catches it at the beginning of the summer. I think if you go through all the effort of catching it with your chopsticks, you should at least eat it. <laughs> you no, know? He let it go. <laughs> Now, I want to know, how does he get that fly train to just fly over that table that, he, that he's kneeling at yes. to try to catch it? They have people in Hollywood that like work exclusively with fly training, I'm sure. <laughs> right? Here comes the fly trainer. <laughs> he's got a little chair and a whip. Yes. <laughs> so, this is a great drink. Um, probably originated in New Orleans. Yes. And Tawahi's Bar. Yeah, you're right. Yes. And, uh, you know, it became... Popular right around the 1960s, just like when other ice cream drinks have. Yeah, it was like all over in the 60s. Yeah. And then and sort of died off until right now when we're resurrecting it. Exactly. Yeah, it's a great drink. It's a great after, uh, after dinner drink uh, on its own, like a dessert. Yeah, it's like Andy's Candies. We used to go to this restaurant as a kid, and as you'd leave, you know, when they bring your check, they would have Andy's Candies on there. And yep. I was like, oh my gosh. We were always fighting for those. This is like Andy's Candies. Yeah. In a glass. Yeah, exactly. And this is our blended version, right? Mm -hmm. We do have a shaken version, so you can watch the video on that. Yeah. Tr traditionally, I think it was made shaken. Yep. But nothing beats a good ice cream drink. Exactly. Except maybe catching a fly with your chopsticks. <laughs> right? All right, let's begin. Let's make it. We need one and a half ounces, 1.5 ounces of green cream de menthe. This... Doubles also is a very good mouthwash. <laughs> uh, what? Are you disagreeing with me? I think you're thinking about Listerine. Oh. <laughs> One and a half of white cream de cocoa. Listerine is terrible. That's how you know it's working. Right, exactly. It burns. All right. And then five ounces of vanilla ice cream. Phil and I chop our vanilla up into five ounce increments. Kind of snowball size. Quick and easy. But if you're using a scoop, it's two rounded scoops. Mm -hmm. If you have a scoop that's like two and a quarter inches round, two of those, but like it has to be a round like a bowl. Yep. That makes five ounces. Get as much as you can in there. Yeah. All right, we'll just wrap ours in wax paper. Because we have too much time on our hands, principally. We make a lot of these, so it's just quick and easy. They're very popular. My sister-in-law, this is what she always requests. Sometimes they say, well, my blender is broken. <laughs> so I make her a shaken one. Right. All right. I'm going to blend this until the ice cream is all mixed in about 20 seconds. Speaking of flies... I read, in a, I read in a magazine or newspaper article some, somewhere recently about one of the questions that they ask you at Google if you're applying for a job mm -hmm. is, one of the questions was, if you were, oh, this is not about a fly after all, if you were shrunk down to the size of a fly uh -huh. and sitting on the blades of a blender, how would you escape? I think that's the question, or something equivalent to that. That's crazy. Of course, there wasn't liquid in there, green <laughs> liquid. You know what I that know. reminded me of? Have you ever seen Gremlins? Oh, yeah, but <laughs> I don't remember anything about it. There's the one gremlin hanging out in the blender, and she just turns oh. it on. Yeah, that's good. It looks like, you know, like grasshopper. Yeah. <laughs> After a while. <laughs> the termites are back. Yeah, they're back. All right. Oh, you're going to want to put a little chocolate in your glass there. That's a great way to garnish it. You just... Uh, Put a nice swirl around the glass. One time I came in and Phil had, 
swirled a Mona Lisa. The picture of the Mona Lisa on the inside of a glass. I think it just kind of started sliding down that way. <laughs> <laughs> we could have retired if we would have sold that on eBay. I know. People are selling toasts with Jesus' picture on it and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> We, we could have, have made money with your chocolate Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa grasshopper. This is kind of drippy, that one there. Yeah, that all one's... Right. We better pour this in quick. <laughs> Ooh, that looks delicious. One of my favorite drinks. All right. A little whipped cream on top. Jeez, was that you? <laughs> And uh, we'll put a little chocolate shavings on the top just because we're on TV after all. Got to make it presentable. And we'll put a straw in there and there you have your grasshopper, the blended version. Enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>